Yeah. What? Back at it, guys. Like a good stack habit. With another video. How you doing? Hopefully you are doing great. And we're ready to dive right on in. We Let's go. I'm about to dive in. So we got um <laughs> we got Thomas Soul fallacies of oh, right. race. Let's see. Be fallacies are. Yeah, come on, Thomas. Definition of fallacy is what, like? Let me stay focused. False. Yeah. Yeah, false. Yeah, no. not, not true. And fallacies. Quote: Some things are believed because they are demonstrably true, but many other things are believed simply because they have been asserted. Repeatedly. Close mm -hmm. quote. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You wish to let that gloomy observation on human nature stand? Yes. Racism calls slavery. Race wasn't the basis of slavery? Oh, it's a, it's a simple historical matter. Uh, slavery existed for thousands of years, as far back as there are any records of human beings. Uh, archaeological finds suggest that race, race, that slavery rather, existed before human beings could read and write. Mm. So, what race, a racial difference between the slaves and the enslavers, that is a relatively new phenomenon. Hmm. You, you didn't have in ancient times the ability to go to another continent and move millions of people across, of a different race across the ocean. So you enslaved the people who were nearby. Mm -hmm. The Europeans enslaved Slavs for centuries Slavs. before they enslaved, before they brought the first black uh, African to the Western Hemisphere. Okay, but so you're not suggesting, you do not wish to say anything other than that slavery as practiced in the United States was it may have been recent, but you'd argue you'd be willing to grant that it was particularly perverse and 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 destructive no, it's because it's because race got mixed into it at that point, right? Race got mixed into it in the United States more than anywhere else for a very simple reason: the United States was founded, well, as the Declaration said, uh, of the independence said, uh, men are all men are created equal. Right. If that's true, then the only way you can justify slavery is to say that some men are less than men. Mm. So the racial but in, but, in, but in Brazil, where Yo. where Brazil uh, <clears throat> imported more slaves than the United States, there was no such ideology. Brazil mm -hmm. was not a democratic country. The whole issue never arose. I see. I wow. See. Right. Wow. Race doesn't account for differences in black-white income. No, the the, the differences between. Uh, uh, Income between Western Europeans and Eastern Europeans is greater than the difference between blacks and whites in the United States. Differences in income are, are, are the rule; they are not the exception. So, hmm. Pause it. Look, you questioning it? That I would want to see. Yeah. Because for so long, there has been documentation that we could pull up that will show how. Or at, in some point in time, how black men and women were paid less for the same job a European American was paid. I guess let's see. What so he's yeah, let's see because this is quite interesting. At all these sociological studies that show a persistent gap mm. between African Americans in income and every other form of American in income, is what useless. It tells us things that we don't need to know. It misleads us. How would you describe that? Uh, wrong, I think, sums it up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is not true. Uh, Hispanics uh, have a lower per capita income than blacks. Hispanic households and families have a higher income than black uh, households and families, simply because the Hispanic uh, families are, are larger. Hmm. Okay. Economic yeah. facts and fallacies. A fallacy is that the current fatherless family so prevalent among contemporary blacks are a legacy of slavery where families were not recognized under slavery. This ignores the fact that the problem has become much worse among generations of blacks far removed from slavery <coughs> and among generations closer to the era 
of slavery, yeah. close quote. Explain that. You mean explain why it is so? Or yeah, see, why is that? Why, what, what on earth is going on there? That is so counter to what we, what we assume. Well, first of all, the, 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 the people, most people have not recognized the fact that, in, that if you go back into the 20s, uh, you find that uh, married couple families were much more prevalent among blacks then than today. Uh, you find also, incidentally, that the blacks were, uh, had, as late as 1930, blacks had lower unemployment rates than whites. So all these things that we complain about and, and attribute to the era of slavery, those things should have been worse in the past than in the present. Right. But in fact, they're worse in the present than in the past. Mm -hmm. And I think if you want to look for a turning point, it would be since the 1960s. Mm -hmm. And what happened in the 1960s? Oh, you began to have not only the welfare state, you began to have the, 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 the mindset that goes with the welfare state mm -hmm. so that there was no stigma any, any longer attached, for example, to being on relief or welfare. And so, but why? Oh, I believe that. I definitely believe that. Well, that, I mean, yeah. Because prior to that, then the mindset was, no, I'm going to grind. I'm going to get it. Yep. You know, I'm not, yep. you know, you don't have to give me anything. I'm going to work and show you how I can do it. Yeah, but right. after the 1960s, that came into play. They're like, man, please, we know anybody studying that. Give yep. me all you can. I can, stay, I can stay on it as long as I can. Yep. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. And that's how a lot of mindsets still running that now. Mm. Okay. Well, Illegitimacy is exploding now among, uh, it's high among Hispanics, yes. and it's, it's exploding among whites. But the Moynihan report, when was that, Tom? Oh, in, in the, the 60s, 60s, 60, 4, 65. When Moynihan talked about the illegitimacy rate among yes. blacks, which was exploding then. So what if the welfare state changes the way Americans think, yes. why did black Americans prove susceptible to that change first? Because they were poor. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't think that many uh, uh, Asian American girls who are preparing to go off to Stanford or Harvard uh, are, are going to uh, say, hey, well, I, I can live on welfare. Why should I uh, uh, abstain? Mm. Mm. Distinguish the two, race and discrimination. Well, racism is, is, is an attitude inside people's heads. Right. Discrimination is an overt act taking place outside in the real world. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, mm -hmm. And so not only with blacks, but you find the same thing with Jews in previous uh, centuries, that that part of the United States where, where there was the most racism against blacks, namely the South, right. is where black construction workers were much more common than they were in the North right on into the 20th century. Mm. Uh, people, most people are unaware that in the South, blacks were the construction workers. Mm. I remember a professor at Howard University saying that when he was a boy in the South, his father uh, pointed to some man on the street and said, he was the first black construction, first white construction worker in this town. Wow. And so what was going on there? The racism did not, so, so whites, whites could think of blacks as somehow or other separate but they'd still employ them because, oh, yes. they, because the market made it profitable to do so. Yeah, in That's fact, in fact, like, yes. And a, in fact, a law had to be passed to stop this because uh, in, the, in the 20s, and particularly in the, as the Depression got underway, uh, black uh, construction companies in the South using black non-union labor would come up to the North and underbid on government contracts, taking them away. And so this was this was very, this was very common to the and point makes, where they paid. and they underbid on them because the, by the underbidding was still a high number of resource that they're making the South versus that funds that have been for the North, which it would have probably been you know it cost more to run run that bid. Mm -hmm. you, you get what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. they would have made they underbid because y'all might be it might be making less to y'all, but that's a lot to us. The Davis Bacon Act which said that on government contracts, you must pay the prevailing wage, which meant, which uh, was translated almost invariably into the union yeah, wage. Right. So, so your point on the distinction between racism and discrimination is, don't worry about racism. It's inside people's heads. You can't measure it. Uh, hmm. There's a strongly subjective, just forget about it. Concentrate only on discrimination. And the best answer to discrimination is to let markets operate because then people will discover, it, it will tend to militate against discrimination. Oh, yes, when people have skills to offer, they'll be employed. Whatever this notion of racism in people's heads is, 
Don't worry about that. Is that right? Yeah. The, the, what, I'm, what I'm saying essentially is that racism, mm -hmm. racists may prefer one race to another, but they prefer themselves to everybody else. <laughs> so they'll, they'll do what's profitable. That's right. That's right. Got it. And okay. that, that was even true in South Africa under apartheid, that there were hundreds of construction companies in South Africa that were fined in a government crackdown because they were hiring more blacks and in higher positions than they were allowed to under the apartheid law because that was where the money was. Mm. Wow. Right. Employment discrimination. Once again, race and culture, economic facts and fallacies. Race is used as a sorting device for decision making, even by people who are not racists. Thus, employers may be reluctant to hire young black males because these employers are aware of what a high proportion of them have been arrested or imprisoned. Even if the employers have no antipathy to black people as such and readily hire older blacks or black females. Close quote. Are you saying that discrimination, even on the basis of race, you're saying it can be rational. Mm -hmm. Do you want to suggest that it can be acceptable? Well, that, that's a different question. Yes, but, I, but, I, but, I, but I do notice that uh, uh, among a group of, empl of, of uh, employers who routinely check everyone for prison records, mm -hmm. the hiring of young black males is greater than in the employers in general. Whereas once they realize... If they find somebody whose record is clean, they'll take him. Yes. Wow, this wow. is so interesting. That is very interesting. That's very, that's, wow. Okay. Perspectives and, you know, information and facts, you know, changes things. Absolutely. Wow. Yo, okay, I mean... Well, what he said was... That's a lot of hit. Yeah, I it's mean, a lot of hit in a good way, you know what I'm saying? As far as an educational way, I get about I get the fact about racism and discrimination, but when it comes to jobs, I need to see those numbers based well, off know. what he says and wages. I just don't wholeheartedly agree. Yeah, and maybe that's because of the spin of, you know, media what I've looked at and True. never really dug a little deeper to True. go to. Because um, remember, we're gonna see the emotional side of it. We're not gonna go further. Right. Yeah. yeah, I would like to definitely dig a little deeper and find out, okay, what does it say about in this 1985 article jobs, certain, you know, ethnic groups compared to others doing the same job? I would like to be able to see that because I just don't believe that's, you know. I don't know. I don't if you know. don't have facts, I think you're still going to have feelings. True. Um, I would say that one he said about the welfare system, how blacks were prior to 1960 right they, had, they uh, unemployment was very low with with blacks and then the welfare and then the it mindset just, was it, it shifted yeah. it shifted but I wonder what about the welfare state attracted to you free, know free money yeah cause it's almost like but I still believe that everybody wasn't on it not everybody was on it but you gotta think people stayed on that for years for a long for generation yeah and um because you realize you're like okay i'm getting some people start from getting more money in the job than they were working mm -hmm. like man I'm stay on this it used to be a thing i remember back in the um, 90s um i remember don't be a minister south central mm -hmm. it was like man if our folks couldn't he said they've been on fin um on food stamps for generations hmm but then, even though that was like, um, like a, what's the name of the word? When you, um, it, it's like more of black or ex black exploitation kind of kind of comedy black movie. Okay. But it was true because that little bit of money come through might was was consistent. And some folks said, "I ain't gonna go out there and hunt no more. I'm just we'll let this little come, little bit come in." Yeah. Never stop the hunt. So. Yeah. Good facts. Yeah, I got. I need to write these. Put these in my list of things to look, look at. at. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Fallacies so, of race. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't take a nose dive. But comment in the section below if you want some more. See what on snap back at you. Yeah. Yeah. Love you guys. Love y'all.